Welcome back to the Drug Aware Margaret River Pro Heat 4 of Round 1. Hitting the lineup now, Carissa Moore, last year's world champion, will be out there in the red. Sage Erickson, getting off to a great start in 2016, will be in the blue. And Laura Anaba, almost out of maybe any s spot uh, on the schedule for the women. This is a great location for Laura. You know, she's got that type of surfing where she just throws caution into the wind. As we see, the, oh wow, rare left here running, Carissa. And I like that. She's not just cementing herself to the rights only. You know, you can get a decent score on those left-handers. We saw some big scores yesterday in the trials from guys going left. And uh, Sage, another uh, type of surfing you're looking at right there that really matches these rights so well. She's got that beautiful rail game on lock. Yeah, I think so, for sure, Strider. It's a good observation. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of carves, even carved downs. As we see Chris on a sick one here, Ronnie. The queen of the carve taking off and letting go of a pretty nice drawn out turn to get started. Attacking that pocket. Seven with a lot of speed at the moment. Neat little layback to finish this right off. It's a great way to mix it up, isn't it? Uh, you know, to have variety when the wind is really stiff and offshore, it's tough. You don't have the option a lot to go with fins free. Uh, so to mix it up, you're going to have to rely on a layback snap. And that's exactly what she does right here. Nice little click off the top, but watch her lean on that back foot. Just a mini drop wallet. Really cool. And again, just making it, you know, keeping it fresh for the judges. Here's another perspective of that ride from the drone angle. And just making some comparisons to our other title contender, Courtney, that we saw in the last heat. Courtney loving that bigger board, but Carissa at the moment... It looks like she's got the choice piece of equipment for the conditions out there at the moment. Looking a little bit faster than Courtney. Going up against the same conditions and just trying to perform their best. And that's all I'm trying to do is get good results right now. And um, gosh, that heat, how is that thing? <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> and, you know, this is a very strong venue for you. Um, what is it about Margaret River Main Break that you, are, you find so appealing? Um, I just love how it's always changing. It's kind of like Bells with just the personalities that it has. It's always... Very comfortable win there for Courtney. And now we're seeing Carissa Moore. And we just saw Narrabeen's Laura Enova get a pretty decent ride here, Ross. Nice drop. That was a really cool drop. She got in late, just slightly held up by the wind. But as soon as she got down the face, she got to work. Two... Pretty solid snaps, but you can see the difference between her and Carissa. You know, Laura, she kind of, she gets through it. I think where she really lights up is when she gets to spin the fins free, uh, you know, and smash the lip. At the CT level. But she has struggled to translate that momentum onto the championship tour, and so far this year, a couple of round two exits as Carissa looks to get rid of that 2.17. This wave doesn't really line up the three-time world champ she gets out of there. Here goes Sage Erickson. Needs to get into this first critical section. Just a smooth carve, not over committing to that first turn. Looks like Sage is on a step up. Chris just has a really nice heavy foot. Let's see if Laura can dig into the critical section of the wave here. Into this first maneuver. Nice little layback jam, something different. Mixing it up and this wave is going to shut down but a bit, a bit more committed. Just over 17 minutes to go. Let's check it again on the replay. Just unpredictable right here. She gets up there nice and vertical. So aggressive. Again, just right in the pocket. And then I guarantee you she didn't plan that maneuver while she's bottom turning. She's such a feel surfer. She just went to the top and kind of reacted. So it's really, you know, it's fun to watch. It's exciting. It's very scorable. But at the same time, she's not going to be as uh, consistent as a Carissa. And you saw that closeout section right there. That was pretty hefty. Courtney, Carissa, and Tyler. That's the one I struggle with most. I think it was actually Courtney that had the lowest percentage of people backing her. So not a bad pickup if you're trying to make up ground on fantasy surfing. But Carissa, with surfing like this, is an obvious choice at this location. Just looking so sharp at the moment. Holy smokes. Yeah, she she went off on those uh, turns on that last set wave there. So for Carissa, there it is. She got an 8.10. That was beyond excellent surfing. 
And you can see the difference, the contrast again between her and her fellow competitors in the water. She's just so strong, Carissa. And uh, there, another very exciting layback snap and a second one. So again, I think this is smart from Laura. She knows that, you know, it's going to be tough to beat Carissa if I stick to that carving. Laura having a look at this one. Good looking wave. She's going to try and dig into this first section again. Nice turn there from Laura, the 24-year-old. Still working this one over. And Sage, she's going to get a bit of water to work with here too, but she's going to kick out. I like what you said before, Ross. I think uh, you were spot on. If you want to turn a heat against someone like Carissa Moore, you're going to have to put your body and your board on the line. You're going to have to throw everything at that end section as Carissa takes off again and starts with a clean snap. This way flattening out for a moment, she's going to get out of there. She was looking to improve on a 7.67, might not do it. I don't think it's going to go in her top two just because it was the only, uh, just one maneuver, but just watch the technique and style from Carissa. She is going to put a ton of pressure on that back foot and she's really going to rip through this car. Perfect target right there. She saw exactly where she wanted to hit it and executed it perfectly. Uh, but again, I just love how quickly she ripped out of that thing and kind of naturally again drifted the fins just for a half a second. That wave didn't cooperate, but again, uh, you know, the surfing that was put on display there was really sick. Sage Erickson now. This wave flattening out quickly. And Sage really looking to dig into this turn, but there is no wall, so itself worked out already coming into the event. Uh, Laura and, and Sage kind of looking like they're working something out out here. I will say for Carissa being kind of, you know, raised in Hawaii, you saw that wind. She looks so comfortable out there. I mean, on paper, in the water, whatever. You, she just completely dominated this heat. And the heat has come to a close. The three-time world champ, three-time finalist here at Marga River will be marching straight through to round three. We'll see Sage Erickson and Laura Enova in the second round.